Pi game tutorial number 11. We're moving quite along and uh, today we're going to uh, move an image on the screen with our mouse. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to have to get the coordinates of our mouse. So let's go into, well first let's look at the game so far. You can see we got our uh, tux animating across the screen here. Background changing color. We had our startup sound. We can click to get a sound, and I can hit escape to exit out of the game. Let's go into our code. And uh, I'm going to now also resize. Earlier we resized the uh, smaller tux, or the tux that moves. Let's uh, resize the other tux as well. So I'm just going to replace, oops, let me exit out without saving because I just screwed all that up. Let's, I to insert, there we go. I'm going to grab this code that resizes the tux uh, two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to replace it, uh, replace the original tux with this resized tux. So they're both resized now, but they're still separate images. And to see that, we'll save this, run our code. There we go, this tux is now as small as that tux. And then I'll go back into our code. And in the while loop here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add X. Oh, I can't use X and Y because I already have X and Y. I'll call them MX equals, or MX comma MY for mouse X and mouse Y. But you can call them whatever you want. And I'm going to say pi game dot mouse dot get POS. POS is for position. So it's going to get the mouse position and it's going to set MX equal to the X position and then Y equal to the Y position. And just to make this easier for you to understand, I'm going to go print to print on the screen and we'll print MX there for now. And I will run the code and you can see if I move this you see these numbers? That's based where my mouse is on the x-coordinate. So you can see as I move my mouse back and forth across the screen, you can see that number getting bigger and smaller. All the way over here would be 0. All the way over here would be 600 because that's our width of the screen. Or 59. Or, no, sorry, 59. 599. I'll hit Q to exit out. So I was just doing that to show you the output. Um, we'll remove that in a minute. But what I'm going to do next is down here where we split out our tux and it says 200 here and 200, that's the position. We're gonna change that to MX and MY. So now when we start the game, you can see that that tux is up in that corner, but as I move my mouse, his top corner moves with my mouse. I'll exit out of that. Let's say we want him to be at the center of the mouse. Um, we can calculate and figure out the center, the, the width and height of the image, uh, which I will show you in future tutorials, but we resized it to 100 by 100, so we know that's the width and the height of that image. So what we can do is we can do X, and I can go minus 50, and y minus 50. Now if we run our code again, and I move my mouse, oh, you know what, did I do that for the right tux? Let's go back and look, because I may have not. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't, because that was, that was for the other tux. Sorry, my confusion. mx minus 50, and my minus 50. Run our code. Now you can see my cursor, the image is, my cursor is centered on the image, or the image is centered on my cursor, depending on how you look at it. Because instead of being the top left and top right, since I subtracted, it's figuring out what the top left, top right is, subtracting 50 from both. And since the image is 100 by 100, it gives us a centered image. So there we go. You notice there's a slight lag, and that's just because it takes so long for, uh, the code to go through the loop and regenerate the image, but it's, in this case, doesn't really matter. So that is how you get a image to move and follow your cursor. Hope you're enjoying this tutorial.
visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. And uh, feel free to rate and comment on this video. Um, ask any questions. I'm still relatively new to Pi Game. I'm just showing you guys things as I learn to help me learn and to help you learn. But I'll do my best to answer any questions you got. Have a great day.